Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my presentation is a little bit different. I will not show you any document from an archive. On the contrary, uh, it's an upside down uh, lecture. Um, I'm coming here actually to call, it, it's a sort of plea for collaboration, which I'm seeking in uh, French archives. Uh, of which uh, the subject, I will give you in a moment a few uh, details and even show you a very peculiar uh, discovery of mine, which actually can be solved only through material found <laughs> in a French archive, probably in France. Not probably, uh, for sure, in France. We are in the footsteps of uh, Raymond Weil. Uh, if in the morning we heard of Nahum Slush, the first Hebrew excavator or archaeologist uh, in the country, yes, for the uh, uh, for the in those days Jewish uh, uh, Palestine exploration society, Raymond Weil was the first Jew to excavate uh, in Palestine even before Nahum Slush in 1913, and uh, he did not come here. Uh, as part of his own planned uh, excavation, he was asked, probably uh, demanded even, by the Baron Rothschild, Edmund Rothschild, the famous uh, Baron from France, to come to Jerusalem and do an excavation. We see later on the plan where exactly he has excavated. Because uh, this was an outcome of the scandal uh, which uh, happened in 1911, 1909-1911 to by British archaeologist Montague Parker in the city of David who was looking for treasures and for the Holy Covenant <coughs> following a certain uh, 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 treasure island map or so to speak to find uh, such a, uh, to find these uh, treasures. Uh, this ended up in him fleeing from the country, almost barely uh, escaping uh, lynching by the Waqf in Jerusalem. Anyway, in those days, uh, another French uh, scholar, Charles Clermont Ganot, approached uh, Baron Rothschild with an idea that he knows where in Jerusalem are not the Holy Covenant, but where the tombs of the the Vedic dynasty allocated, uh, and he would like very much that he should initiate and, of course, finance an excavation uh, to look for these uh, tombs, royal tombs in Jerusalem. This was very simple. Uh, he thought, Permungano thought, that the large loop which the Ceylon tunnel, we see it later on the map, is doing in, in, in underground in that hill is actually done in order to avoid uh, reaching through the possible location of the uh, Davidic uh, royal necropolis. And it's just to dig there and find it out. Well, uh, Baron Rothschild, in his way, uh, did it on a large magnitude. And he, first of all, bought the land. The money was, in his, uh, uh, in his times, uh, not a problem. Here we are, famous uh, picture of the city of David. We'll come closer in a moment. And uh, he needed, he bought the land. We'll come to the map of, his, of the lot that he has bought in the city of David. And he needed an archaeologist and found uh, Professor Raymond Weil, an archaeologist, but he was an Egyptologist working in Egypt, in Sinai and in Egypt, not in Jerusalem. This was not uh, he, of his interest. And asked him, maybe he demanded, I don't know, uh, a Jew talking with a Jew uh, where a large amount of money is involved, and uh, Weil succumbed to his uh, demand and went to the city of David. <laughs> I am sitting in my, I'm, uh, and you know my name is Wright, 
which is, means rich in so I know what I'm talking about. Uh, this is it. Um, uh, y came and excavated and just I brought you a few uh, uh, pictures. These are the dumps which he dumped out of the area which he excavated. We are looking southwest, uh, which today this is the road of the Kidron Valley down here, still in that time of path. And uh, uh, the only thing that I found uh, is a saying which I found in Chaim Weizmann's uh, memoir, published in English and later also translated into Hebrew. We, will write, we can read it again. And Weizmann, the leader of the Zionist uh, movement at that time, uh, tells us that he, Rothschild, was not a man to be jested with, not even when in his national purpose he overshot the mark going sometimes beyond the Zionists themselves. At a certain time, I remember, he financed a series of excavations on Mount Zion. This is a mistake. This is the city of David, meaning the city of David, where some seven ancient cities lie one uh, on top of each other. His purpose was to uncover the Ark of the Covenant. Even here, it's not uh, exactly what was meant, but the royal necropolis which he believed was buried there. I asked him very seriously what he intended to achieve with the Ark of the Covenant. He replied, Le fouille, je m'en fiche, c'est la possession. He was interested in land, to possess land, and he did it by buying it, simply as this. And since then, until this very moment, this is state domain, the area, and we'll come to the plan of this lot of uh, land that he has accepted. Excavations be damned, it's possession that counts. Masao Mas in Hebrew in his book, if you like to read in this. Uh, um, I went to the footsteps of Raymond Weil, and again, I need, uh, uh, I need more archival information on this excavation. Less from the Chaim Weizmann uh, archives, but, which is today the Zionist archives, but more on probably Baron Rothschild's archive in France somewhere, and uh, Raymond Weil in one university somewhere in Paris, maybe. And maybe uh, uh, Chloe sitting there is the person that I am uh, uh, pleading to uh, help the story go on. <coughs> For her to do it from the beginning to the end. There is yeah. no, no I, I cannot hear. Yeah, okay, then, uh, anyway, I, um, several years ago I published a book, I, I am only the commentator on this, um, um, translating La Cité de David into English, this was initiated by Herzl Schenks from Biblical Archaeology that review. He wanted actually me to comment that the tombs, that, that the rock cuttings found by Raymond Vai are indeed the royal in the necropolis of the Davidic dynasty. And he said, I will publish, I will translate it into English and you will comment on it. I said, but I might say the contrary, which I did finally, because I don't think that I found any uh, uh, tombs at all. But anyway, this book is available in English. I don't know if it's even known to the public. It's already uh, a decade old or so. I went into uh, and, and commented it uh, paragraph by paragraph to Weil's uh, work according to what we know today, what we have gathered today. A few more pictures of Weil's excavations. Let me not comment on these. Those who know, know, and the others go and learn. And this is the famous, uh, maybe, um, uh, discovery. Uh, only one of the two royal in his mind, uh, tombs found there. You can see it on the, 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 this deep entrance. I came into the picture in 1978, not for this, but for the step, for the step uh, um, uh, construction here, because I think, and this is what I wrote my first article on Mikvah, that this is a Jewish Mikvah from the Second Temple period. But then I started to go into Weil's uh, um, footsteps. Uh, just to show you these two, which we cannot see on the air photo 
somewhere there, so I just enlarged it for you to see T2 and T1 are those, those large rock cuttings, which I believe them to be underground cellars of a house from the second temple period, not earlier, certainly not royal tombs of any kind. And at C2, where the, rock, where the, where the arrow is pointing, cistern C2, uh, he has discovered in the cistern maybe his most important uh, discovery in the city of David, and this is the Theodotus inscription, uh, which everybody knows. The most important uh, element, archaeological element, on the city of David hill, or southeastern hill of Jerusalem, in my opinion, uh, is, um, uh, is the famous Siloam tunnel, which Vai has not published anything on this, or very, very little, but he has published a very important cross-section. You can see here uh, uh, Vai's cross-section, and there must be more information on this uh, uh, in, in the archives, because uh, this was not his concern at all. Why is this important? Because this is the first and the last cross-section where you can find both uh, water uh, aqueducts of the city of David. It's a Siloam tunnel, uh, Canal Le Toa, here you can see, number three, De Zekias, uh, which is the Siloam tunnel, and slightly higher, and this difference, and this is uh, um, uh, meticulously measured. It's very uh, um, precise, the difference in level of channel 2, uh, uh, which later, uh, in this particular point also, Igor Shilosky has uh, uh, um, cleared and commented on. And you can see that from this, at least, point, water cannot flow out of channel 2, for those who know what I speak about. So it is the Siloam tunnel that uh, uh, interests me. And here, uh, I will show you a small enigma, which uh, I might find a solution in Vai's lost archive somewhere. This is a site that I'm not sure that any one of you has ever seen. All of you were in the Siloam tunnel. I don't know if you have ever seen it without water. This is dry, completely dry, without water, January 2007. We have pumped out for two weeks the water out of the Siram tunnel to uh, mend the floor, which had already large uh, uh, depressions caused by the feet of the tourists. So at that time, it was a very good uh, opportunity to check everything there. And during these uh, months, I uh, went through the channel and found several interesting things. Uh, pay attention to the two arrows here. The plan of the Siram tunnel is here in black. You can see it there, with the meeting point somewhere there in the middle. First of all, one thing that everybody could have seen and everybody crosses the tunnel at this point and doesn't pay attention. There is a drill going through the tunnel from side to side. This is caused by, you can see it there. Fortunately, there was nobody at that time because it continues to the other wall of the tunnel. The tunnel is 60 centimeters uh, wide and it comes in here and goes further on to here. And if there would have been somebody there, he, he, this would end in a catastrophe. This was found, here. this is here for everybody uh, uh, to watch if it's not, if he's not shouting because of the cold water, etc., as usually it's doing. But this we know, and we know exactly who did it, and why, and why particularly this hit here, the tunnel. This was done to anchor a concrete wall on the outer side of the city of David, still there today. And because the tunnel makes you a turn, uh, it didn't go above it, it went into it. Anyway, but I will finish my small lecture uh, with this arrow over here, which is a strange thing. You can see here. At that point, somewhere in the more or less uh, last third of the Ceylon tunnel, 
are three holes in the seal. Can you see them? Smeared with modern concrete all around. There were also three holes on the bottom. Today not seen anymore because I said the floor was mended. These contained once three iron bars and the tunnel of Siloam, Siloam tunnel, was once blocked. One could not cross it. Who did it? When what was this done? Who removed it? Is this, it's not ancient because the, the, even on this picture you can see the modern uh, Portland cement uh, plaster over there. Uh, here, I, archival material might have helped. Not that it is important for the history of the, of the tunnel itself, but maybe yes, because it's more, uh, uh, it's more pointing to the modern history of the city of David, or the southeastern hill, which, as you know, is not, not today and not in the past an innocent place, let's say. Uh, uh, the amount of politics involved uh, might maybe even explain this. Somebody blocked the tunnel. Um, then came the idea. I found the plan of vials of Baron Rothschild's purchase of land in the city of David that you can see here. This is later, this will come in colors. This is the black this is a black line, let's see it like this. Can you see the yellow? This is the Siloam tunnel, crossing it. It's only the southern part of the hill. This is the parcel of land which uh, the Bar Baron Rothschild uh, purchased in the city of David. This is today, or since then, state domain. This is why excavations like Eagle Shilos a part of ours uh, could be carried out with, uh, without any questions asked, uh, what are you doing on my land? And when I put the place of these three holes on the map, look where it is. It is exactly where the uh, uh, boundary of the Rothschild parcel crosses above the Siloam tunnel. I think that this was done uh, in relation to the purchase of land there. This is mine, so it is what is on surface. This includes the air upwards to infinity, and this includes the underground down to, if there is an infinity down there. And uh, this was probably put at that time. Who has taken it out? Probably the British. But these are probables, and I would like very much to know for certain. תודה רבה.